so. Yeah, all right, we're at San Geronimo. It's hot and I forgot the GoPro. Um, this is that really steep stuff. We're gonna just do clips of everything today. Third yeah. person. Should be dry and slippery and steep. And spicy and good and fun. Uh, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm just getting the excuses going early. I'm a little bit gnar. Yeah, we already knew that. Um, yeah, so you'll see us at the top or maybe on the way up, I don't know. Oh, it's on 0.5, so it looks weird. Um, just finished the climb, brutal, absolutely brutal. It's hot, it's like, I don't know, probably 80, but like just really high uh, UV index. So we're tired and Neil's gonna drop in on a cool feature right here. Woo, that was cool. It's just a yank from there, you know, it's like jumping up a curb. Yeah. Jack, why? I'm gonna do it again. I know, but wh why do you do the unsafe version every time? This is how you're gonna get hurt, is when you half it, you know? I know, but dude, that's progress. I that is progress, so but good. my god, dude, like... <laughs> yeah. Alright, go time, baby. Most features aren't gonna be like that. I know, I know. I need to... You need to visualize what you're gonna do, which is jump over that thing and and just do it, you know. <laughs> yep. I think that was I think that was better. All right, so we got that feature. I tend to be a little bit of a head case on most things, and I can do them. I just get scared, and so that was uh, me just battling through one. Not a hard feature, but uh, you know, nonetheless, it, it challenged me. So now we're gonna keep going. This trail gets really steep, really spicy, really hard to stop, uh, but really fun. And we've gotten pretty good at this stuff, just thanks to literally this trail. So, yep. The steeps. The I think steeps. there's a couple more root fun pre-hop stuff that you can do. Maybe we'll film that. Maybe. Uh, and then it goes straight into the steeps. All right. Well, catch you guys in a sec. So what Neil's going to do here, there's a little nub thing over there, and it lands on this root here, right in the center of the screen. He just did the math, or used his bike and measured. There's no math involved. About 10 feet. Um... So, or maybe eight feet, it's a bike and a half. And so we're gonna do that. And then the run out is a really, not really steep, but spicy little rock or root section, so. <laughs> so Jack's turn on this little pre-hop thing. Go up a little further. I went to the top of this jump thing. Uh, it's not too bad, it's fun, but it's a little like, you can't really see kind of where the sun starts is where the landing is. And then that big shade spot is a lip. It's about a bike length and a half and you kind of have to jump over this like tree route. It's definitely like the race line, I guess you would say. Um, not super difficult, but a fun, it, you know, it's one of those things that you, you get the feeling of that pro feeling where you're doing that, the cool creative line. So it's one of those makes you feel cool. Yep. Here. Nice. That was pretty smooth. So it's Jack again. You was saying when I did the run on his bike, I bottomed his suspension. His front completely, his back almost completely. It's just I, I went to do that pre-hop and I, I weigh about 50 pounds more than Neil. And um, that 50 pounds just ate his whole travel uh before the hop even happened and then it was just like kablunking onto the next feature okay neil's dropping this is a sweet little section Ooh. 
Yeah. Spicy. So for some perspective, the first time we came here, might have even had to walk this. And then even like the last time we were here, last time I think I cleaned it, the second to last time we were here, I literally like messed this up three times, had to do it again. This time I just dropped in, I don't know the life gets left, gets, or I guess riders left, our right, gets a little spicy, you have to stay high there. But um, nonetheless, yeah, it's not too bad. It's so easy, right? Get some perspective of how hard it is to walk up. Okay. I'm going to try it again. So Jack's going to go a little spicier this time. I went real safety mode. That was my first lap on it. I don't know if I'm going to do another. This, this section used to be uh, kind of scary. It's like very steep, very loose, hard to stop. But ever since going to Whistler, it's been this stuff where you just you see things with a different lens. Uh, I'm in the line of fire for Jack, so I hope he doesn't go too spicy, but... Yeah! That was fast. That was pretty good. That was really fast. So I think you guys saw some perspective on me climbing this thing, but... Just get some shot of Neil. This is truly, like, hard to walk up. Like, this would be like, oh, hikers would be like, oh, there was this really steep section if they were lamenting on a difficult hike and uh we're ripping down it that time there's a section you can kind of see it in the middle of the screen where the trail basically like it it's wide and then it funnels and if you miss that you end up falling into this stuff to the the rider's right um so you have to kind of take it easy there but then once you launch it it's a pretty straight shot there's some big roots into a pretty loose turn that doesn't have a lot of um camber but it, it it works and we've been riding this stuff a lot so some of that whistler and pacifica stuff really is paying off as well as you know laps out here right here all right neil's gonna get this turn this is that next section basically i was standing where neil is now when i filmed the last clip Whatever, see if you can get this turn well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no speed. Dialed. Yeah, whatever. I think there's one more spicy section. Yeah, there's one section that's more spicy. Yeah. Alright, so we were we were pre-riding before we free ride. And I jumped into here. Got completely out of control and slid and my, my pedal stopped me on this tree in the middle of the trail. And then it gets really steep and then it gets steep right turn and then it's over. But I think it's very funny that I, my pedal saved me from like using my bash guard too much. Neil went all the way down. All right, well, Neil wasn't filming, but. The best spot to film is at the top. We knew he didn't go up there. I'm not going to go up there either. <sighs> uh, I am cooked. This is very steep. This is the hardest section in the place. It's very hard to walk up. Impossible to stop. That tree in the middle of the trail is in the worst spot ever. <laughs> you come out with so much speed and that's the race line. I took this a lot faster. Yeah, that top part, I try to jump down. There's like a little lip into the turn that turns into the tree and Neil kind of rolled it. I, I tried to jump it a little bit. I had a little more pepper there, which is why the first lap I ran into the tree, but pretty good showing by Neil, very, very controlled. Okay, so we just did this section that used to be kind of scary to us. Just like tight switchbacks that are super loose and steep. Wasn't too bad. This feature has eluded us. I think Neil got it once sketchy. Matt got it once very sketchy. Matt went this way from here. Yeah, from there to, 
through this line. I think you did this. All I know is I want to get this. But I do think if you just go this way, you're fine. I just worry I'm gonna like compress. Uh, there's flip. No, here. no, that's not gonna happen. Cause this. What happens is you go over that. You just yeah. go. You just monster truck over it, and then you just stop. That's what happened to me. I just monster trucked yeah. it. I'm gonna actually try and make the corner this time. Yeah. The the tough part of these features like this is you come at it with no running or like the worst running ever, cold. You like you're not flowing at all. You have to like. It really isn't riding a bike in the same way some of the other stuff we just did is because you. You have to get in the zone in like one second, which is always incredibly difficult. Yeah. But I think you got this, dude. I'll let you go first. I'll go first, but. I might just do this no, line. Don't do that one. What about right through here? Only if you can do it from the run in. Yeah. If you have to start up here, don't do it, because that's where you get sketchy. Yeah. And that's where it's dangerous. Yeah. You have to be on your pedals when you're riding into it. All right, I'll go. Oh wow, amazing. Huh, that was amazing. No, dude, you, you can stop. You get some braking when you drop your front wheel down. Yeah. Like I was very, very controlled at that point. Yeah. Wow. You wanna hit it? I'll try, I'll, I'll do some run-ins. Yeah, this is another one that's, it's pretty steep. It's uh, steep, the run-in is steep, which is always weird because the run-in sort of makes your point of no return a little bit um, higher up, I guess. And then the run-out is steep, and then the feature itself is like a little drop, so. That doesn't feel undoable. Dude, it's not. Don't put your front wheel there. Just run into it how you were, and just roll over it. Go back up. At least you can see how steep it is. Yeah. I don't think I got it. Dude, one more. There you go. That's it. Don't lean back as much. Look over the feature. I'm good. Once you're up there, you see it. It's, you know. It's doable, but it's not feeling good. All right. That's all right. I feel really good about today. All right. Uh, 2,000 feet later, 1,300 calories later. That was a gnarly one. I'm exhausted. I just drank half a gallon of water in one sip, literally. Uh, pretty stoked to get this one. I, if I hadn't been so exhausted, I for sure would have got that thing at the end. But. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, good day. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching this one. Ooh. You